Hi, I'm Chris Peacock, and this is The Vampire Diaries, Season 2, Episode 8, Rose. So in the last episode, uh, uh, well, Elena and Stefan are now for real broken up. Um, yeah, I mean, more happened than that, but now they're for real broken up because, uh, well, it's not that I forgot. I really didn't. It's just hard to really explain, even even after having watched it, because the threat from Catherine is pretty much gone, at least for now. I am 100% sure she'll be back, but Catherine's trapped in the tomb that she was supposed to be in in the first place, but Elena decided that they still shouldn't be together. Um... It, it, it made sense. It really did. But at the same time, it didn't. It's it's one of those things where I didn't necessarily disagree with Elena's decision. And I understood Elena's decision. But at the same time... It was curious. Yeah. Whatever. I, I really do know what happened. I know I'm acting like, oh, did I even watch that episode? But no. No, I really did. Um, like, I, I know what happened. Like, the other witch was a Bennett witch. Or is she a Bennett witch? I mean, I know she's related to um, Bonnie. But that doesn't mean she's a Bennett witch because she could be related through the other side of the family. I would assume the other side of the family probably isn't witches, though. So she probably is a Bennett witch. See, I still don't know if that witch really was good. That's the other thing. I don't remember if I said... I don't remember if I said that I wasn't sure about her. Like, even after everything worked out, I wasn't sure if that was just her. I No, I do. I remember saying she might be playing Bonnie. But I just wasn't sure. I don't think she was. Because I can't see how Catherine being in the tomb benefits Catherine. But I wouldn't be surprised either. <laughs> so for now, I'm going to say she didn't play Bonnie. And that legitimately she sided with Bonnie and helped catch Catherine. But you know, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me either. I don't know. I'm just going to start the episode because I have no idea. Um, so yeah. Hopefully, that witch did not play Bonnie. Whether she did or not, I am 100% sure we haven't seen the last of Catherine. I, I do think, though, this isn't a prediction so much as a wish. I don't want Catherine to be in this episode. I do want Catherine back, but I want her to at least be in the tomb for a little while. I don't want that to be, like, nothing. Like, if they legitimately caught her, I want her gone at least two or three episodes. Maybe not three. Three is a long time. Like, I'm thinking three, like, binging, but three actually is quite a while when you're week to week. The way the show is aired on TV. Yeah, I'm going to say two. I want her gone two episodes. Now, she can be, she can be gone longer. She really, like... If, she, if we don't see her again this season, I won't be, like, truly upset. If we never see her again, I will be. Like, if she's just in that tomb for the rest of the series and we never see her again, I am mad. That was cheap for getting rid of her character. But I don't believe it for a minute, so I'm not upset. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm undecided on whether they really caught her or if that witch was playing Bonnie and this is all part of... Catherine's plan somehow, but again, I don't see how it could be. Regardless, let's get into the episode because I've re I've resorted to the point of just repeating myself. So, let's watch the episode. This guy is probably not even a bad guy. He's probably just compelled. Thank you for your help. Is there anything else? One more thing. Come closer, please. Oh yeah, this guy's this guy's just compelled. Close. I feel bad for this kidnapper. Oh well. 
Did you see Tyler's eyes turn yellow? They're more gold with amber highlights. <laughs> Can he turn into a wolf now? Only on a full moon. Now he has increased strength and he knows what else. Damon's voice sounds a little bit off. Caroline's doesn't, so I know it's not on my end. Is his actor sick this episode? He's got to know something. All right. I'll ask him. No, you won't, Caroline. He cannot know about us. Now he sounds Bite from a werewolf can kill a vampire, so don't be his friend. Do you understand me? Maybe that room was a little empty. I understand. Or maybe it was me. I'm late for school. Their bed hadn't been slept in, and Mrs. Lockwood said that her car was still in the driveway. Where is she, then? You check the bottom of the ravine with Amy. That's not where she is, but that, you should check there. This says Catherine written all over it. Catherine's in the tomb. Trust me, I'm the one that shut her in. Did you? Did I what, Stefan? Well, I know the hold that Catherine has on you. She's in the tomb, period. Are you guys going to open the tomb now? What did she say? Lane's in danger. What, and you didn't <laughs> think you should ask her to elaborate? But everything she says is a lie. How am I supposed to know she's going to start spouting out the <laughs> truth? You have to go talk to her. No, no. I don't mind seeing her this episode if she doesn't get out. If she gets out already, I really will be annoyed. Not so annoyed that I'm, like, going to quit the show or anything, but... Because I really do want her back. I just don't hey. want her back yet. Did you or did you not get the message to Elijah? They say he got it. Wonderful. And what? So that's it, Trevor. You either got it or you didn't. We just have to wait. Look, it's not too late. We can leave her here. We don't have to go through with this. I'm sick of running. Who's Elijah? He's your worst nightmare. Okay. Oh, How yeah. This work. This will work. I'll use your well, word to draw the work, energy but... for the tracking spell. This is worth a try. And I'll make the connection stronger. All right, Alaric said we got to clear out of here within ten minutes. I got weapons. He stocked me up. All right, where are we going? There. She's there. That's three hundred miles away. No, Bonnie, we need a more exact location than that. It's as close as I can get. Now everyone's gonna think he's on steroids because he's not able to control his strength. We already saw that with the walker. You're lying. Nope. I'm late. Hey. A ravine bomb or grenade launch or something like that. <laughs> Weird. Hey, how much further is it? About 80 miles. What do you think took her? Can't you guys run someone faster than this car? She, said she was running from someone. <laughs> they got the wrong girl. I don't know why they're driving. Well, Ark just left with Jenna. He's getting out of the house for a while, so she doesn't ask questions about Elena. Look, I pulled this up based on that spot on the map. No, if you're There's nothing being, for miles except this old house. Message. Is it a message only she can read? Because it might do more harm than good if anyone else can make anything out of it. Now put out the candle Bonnie! before the bed catches fire. Buddy! Buddy! Don't shake the bed when there's a candle in it. Why am I? He's one of the vampires, the originals. Oh, the originals. What do you mean the originals? I do not know who they are, but I do know what they are. Trevor and I have been running for 500 years. Yeah. We're tired. We want it over. We're using you to negotiate ourselves out of an old mess. In order to break the curse, you're the one that has to die. Okay, so you still would need to be protected until such time. Unless Catherine doesn't want to break the curse. She just wanted to make sure it couldn't be broken, which would make her the good guy? Tyler? You're a werewolf. Say it. <laughs> I'm not a werewolf, okay? <laughs> She's not. Rose and I pissed him off. Mm -mm. Correction, 
I pissed them off. I'm not sure how much of what I know about the originals is accurate. I do not know any of the, their identity. Like, Nate, I don't know any names. I don't think. Off the top of my head, I don't, anyway. I just... Obviously, I know the show, the originals. I mean, I know that it exists. I haven't seen it yet. We'll, it'll, it'll be reacted to when we get to that point. Um, I know... The way I understand the originals is might not be correct. And if it is or isn't... It, it, the, unless it's said in this episode... Uh, don't correct what I'm about to say if it's wrong. The, would they? Would it be literal? <laughs> like the uh, not necessarily actual. Like what? Okay, there has to be a first vampire. So uh, they would be the first ones. Like one of them would be the real first one, and then the rest would be like the second, third, fourth. However many you go until you're not an original anymore, is the way I would assume it. Or you'd maybe. Maybe from that line. Like, there's the one original one, and then any vampire in that line would be original. See, I really don't know. Because <laughs> those aren't the same thing. Um, that would make sense. Like, even a brand new vampire from the same line. I'm mixing my vampire mythologies now, though. But, but, that can't be right. <laughs> because, um, every vampire would be descended from the original vampire. So they'd all be originals if that part was right. But again, it was the first part that I was thinking. It was the original X number of vampires, and then after that, any vampires are not originals. You trusted Katerina Petrova? Catherine? Hmm. The one and only, the first Petrova doppelganger. I helped her escape her fate. And now I've... Sorry, we've Wait. been marked Wait. since. She, she was a doppelganger? Why are we not gonna make... What happened? You scared the hell out of me. It's nothing. No, it wasn't nothing, Bonnie. So Catherine's not the I've original... I've been doing a lot of magic lately. Not the original in terms of the originals, but Catherine's not the original person that looks like Catherine. I don't know what this... I don't know what the name would be. Maybe we'll meet that character. How many characters is she gonna play? That would be cool. Even if it would just be in flashback, because that character might be dead or something. Okay, uh... Get rid of it. Want to know you're drinking blood? It's hers. Well, that isn't hers, but... I've been drinking hers. You were the guy that would rip someone apart just for the fun of it. You mean when I was more like you? Yes, definitely, exactly. I want to see that. Blood into me I so have flashbacks of that. Vampire. I'm sure we do. Of course, Lane would be so quick to open her veins to that guy. He wants me dead, Rose. He wants her more. I can't do this. Can he, you give her to him? He wants her more. He could kill the both of you and take her. What? <laughs> he wants her more. I, I don't even have to have ever met this character to know he could just kill the both of you and take her. Okay, well, he clearly has a melee ring. I wanted my freedom. I'm tired of running. You in a position to grant me that? I have complete authority to grant pardon to you and your little pet. What is his name these days? Uh, Trevor. If I so see fit. You have my word that I will pardon you. Follow me. Well, Stefan and Damon aren't here yet. And I, I don't think they would stand a chance against this guy anyway. Human. Please don't let him take me. One last piece of business, and we're done. Oh. So. I've waited so long for this day, Elijah. Oh, you're still dead. Rose aided you because she was loyal to you. That I honor. Where was your loyalty? I beg your forgiveness. So granted. You're still dead. Oh, what about the moonstone? What do you know about the moonstone? 
I know that you need it, and I know where it is. Yes. I can help you get it. Tell me where it is. It doesn't work that way. Excuse me. <sighs> to whom it may concern, you're making a great mistake if you think that you can beat me. But you can't. I'll come with you. Just please don't hurt my friends. They just wanted to help me out. You know, I know he's way stronger. But they're doing good enough. Oh, they just won. That's anticlimactic. So I'm assuming the other originals are going to be mad. So Rose must be important at some point because there's no need for this. To, <laughs> this being titled Rose doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. About what? For being the guy who made you turn 145 years ago. Enough stuff. It's late. No need to rehash that. Well, you know what? I've never said it out loud. I guess I just need to say it and you need to hear it. Who else is like you? Just me. Just. It's a really long story. We can share another time. And I don't want to run anymore because I don't have anywhere else to run to. Well, I'm sorry, but I can't help you. I don't need your help. But I think you need mine. So come for her. You're doing it for him. For who? Klaus. Okay, I do know that name. Damon, don't go there. No, I just have to say it once. You just need to hear it. I love you, boy. I don't deserve you. But my brother does. Wait. Really? Now I miss Lexi. <laughs> so, okay, the originals can't be killed? That doesn't seem fair. Not only are they so much stronger, but when you get lucky, you still lose. Oh, oh well. Um, all right, well. It was a pretty good episode. I didn't think for a minute that uh, the other guy was going to live, but the title of the episode was Rose, so if Rose didn't make it, I really wouldn't have understood the title. I still, still don't, but I'm assuming Rose is going to be important. And as such, having, a title introdu having the title introduce the character, perfectly fine. I mean, Doctor Who did it, after all. Um, I mean, Rose, this Rose probably won't be that important. But, uh, maybe. Um, yeah, so. I am glad Catherine wasn't in the episode. I mean, I know Catherine's technically in every episode, because Nina, uh, yeah, Nina's in every episode. So, that's still the same person. <laughs> But Catherine herself wasn't in the episode, and I'm glad. Um, again, I do want Catherine back. I don't even know how old is Catherine. Like, I know Catherine's 500-ish. Is the ish good enough? And I don't know how old the originals are, but I don't want to know. I'm assuming the show will tell us if it's ever important. I mean, they're probably not all the same age. Because there has to be one original. They can't just all be the originals. I mean, I know they are the originals, because that's the title of that show. But there has to be an actual original original, right? Mm. And again, I'm just speaking out into the air. I don't actually really want to know anything. 
I did already know there was someone named Klaus. I forgot that I knew that, but I, I knew there was a Klaus. I didn't actually know if he was on this show. I knew he was on the originals, which means I know he survives at least long enough to make it to the originals. But we haven't even met him yet, so <laughs> whatever. Or maybe we have. Maybe he's been a background character at some point. That would be hilarious. Uh, all right. The big things in the episode. Because I actually haven't, I don't think, mentioned the big things. Um, first, Jeremy and Bonnie are definitely getting closer. I feel like they're going to be dating by the end of the season. I don't know if they'll be dating by the end of the series. Like, they might break up, but I do think they're going to at least be dating for a little while. Um, as for Tyler and Caroline, I'm not, I don't think they're necessarily going to be dating, but she has definitely revealed more to him than probably was wise. I, I, it's not that I don't trust him. I mean, I don't, but it's not that I don't trust him. It's that... I don't know how Damon's going to feel. I mean, I don't even think Stefan's going to like that she revealed all that. So it'll be worse with Damon. Um, and Damon's confession at the end of the episode. I mean, we, the audience, already knew it. And Elena doesn't remember it. So even though it was a really good scene, who was it for? It, I mean, I know it was for Damon. I, when I say who was it for, I actually know it was for Damon. Damon did it for Damon. I mean, I know uh, Elena will remember it if she gets turned. But she already knew it too. So really, who was it for? Because she's been told more than once that they, unless she didn't believe it. I don't know, but it, it was a very good scene. It really was. I, I don't really want, mean to be nitpicking it. It's just... I feel like everyone already knew. <laughs> and including Elena. And Elena still knows, even though she forgot that whole scene. Because she knew before, and he didn't make her forget everything. He just made her forget that scene. So, but again, still, it was a very good scene. And I think that's all the big major things in the episode. Confirmation once and for all that a vampire is stronger than a werewolf. I know it was implied earlier, but now we know because Caroline is stronger than uh, Taylor. Tyler, not Taylor. Tyler. Tyler. Maybe not in wolf form, <laughs> but in human form. Like, I, know, I again, I do know it was implied earlier, but they didn't, they didn't flat out state it. And the show still hasn't flat out stated it, but I mean, Caroline's pretty much the weakest vampire in the series right now. I mean, I'm sure there'll be some new vampires later that are weaker because she's going to be older than them, but... At this point, I would say a, a, a new vampire... I See, I still don't know. I remember asking this question, but uh, no one's answered it, mainly because, uh, well, uh, I haven't actually uploaded that as of filming this. But I remember asking in an earlier episode that hasn't been uploaded yet, but, well, it has been uploaded by the time anyone's seen this, because it's before this. Duh. Um, I remember asking if two vampires are the same age, would the stronger one just be the one that would have been stronger as a human? So thus, like, let's say Tyler was a vampire yeah, that got turned on the same day as Caroline. Tyler, the human, is clearly stronger than Caroline, the human. So would Tyler, the vampire, be stronger? Would they just be equal? I'm just, just curious. I don't even know. Like, it's possible that the show never says. So even people that have seen every single episode will not know the answer to that question. 
That's completely possible, and I definitely understand if that's the case. Um, and, and thus, I mean, you, you so, I mean, I don't think, I don't even care if that is, I don't, let me get this sentence out. I, I don't really think that would be a spoiler, so feel free to answer it, even if the show does legit flat out tell you later. I don't mind knowing now. Um, just don't give any names. Like, if the show does eventually, like, confirm it one way or the other, that question, don't tell me who it confirms it with. But... I mean, who would... Actually, Stefan and Damon would be perfect. Who would... Who, now that Stefan's drinking human blood, whichever one of them would win in a fight, would that be the one that was stronger as a human? But we don't even know who was stronger as a human, at least as of now. Anyway, I'm going to stop, because I actually still got to watch more. I'm going to watch the next episode right now. So hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you in that next episode, which I do not know the title of at the moment, but I will in about 10 seconds. So hopefully you enjoyed.